Welcome back to the second part of our Rhodes Tour. We're taking a look at the casino here. My wife and I have been there. It's quite fun. Uh, five euro to get in last time we went. And uh, they do give you free drinks while you're uh, playing the slots. So uh, you can kind of come out breaking even if you have a couple drinks. Uh, lovely place. Highly recommend it right on the beach. Moving along, Memphis Barbecue Grill. If you're craving some uh, American food, good ribs here, good chicken wings, uh, friendly staff. Uh, we had the burger as well, very good burger. Uh, and this is just uh, right in front of the casino to the right. So you can't miss that as our waiter giving us a little peace sign there. Uh, we enjoy this place a lot. And again, if you're craving uh, some Memphis barbecue, uh, certainly is a decent place to check out. <coughs> Moving along down the street, we see this uh, Johnny's Pub, kind of an Irish type pub. Looks pretty fun, I haven't been there yet. Uh, this street has a number of little bars on it, and uh, we'll see. Um, Moving up the street here to the right, there's a Napoleon's Pizza. We're just about to hit Apollonio, which is a street that we used to live on. Uh, but if you came up Memphis, and when you see Memphis Grill, you go straight up that street, you take your first right. Here's the Blue Coyote Cocktail Bar. This has good reviews on TripAdvisor. Uh, seems like it must be a pretty fun place. Uh, it's still um, May here, so it's not quite high season yet. We haven't really been out and about checking the bar scene yet because it's been a little bit quiet. <coughs> uh, we could go into a little bit of Rhodes history here. Uh, the island has about 50,000 residents. It's a World Heritage Site, well known for the Colossus of Rhodes, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. <coughs> And uh, it's mentioned that uh, it may have come from the Phoenician name Erode, meaning full of snakes. Because antiquity, when they uh, came to the island, it had lots of snakes on it. <coughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so here's Koikos. Uh, this was one of the first nice dinners we had here. Actually, with our landlord, our landlord was so nice when we signed the lease. He brought us here for dinner. Beautiful fireplace inside and a parrot. And lovely traditional uh, Greek cuisine. And they have a rooftop terrace as well. The prices are very affordable. Uh, my wife and I came here for dinner as well and did something on the cheaper side, just some chicken, a chicken plate and a pork plate. I think they were about seven to nine euro each. So very affordable, lovely, traditional Greek restaurant. So that street leads into Apollonia. Beautiful little street. This is where we first got our Airbnb, we were in this little red house here on our left. Quite a lovely place. You're going to see our terrace. It's called uh, uh, Villa Maritza. And building goes back to 1920. Number 35, Apollonia. That was our little terrace there. We started in the upstairs apartment and then we moved down to the downstairs apartment. <coughs> Quite nice, you can find her on Airbnb. And uh, that was our first little home here for a month. Here's Ovalex, right at the end of Apollonio, uh, past that red building. This is a lovely place. We had lunch here every single day. Uh, she has a lunch with a salad and bread. Beautiful lunch for five euro. There she is there waving to us. It's quite sweet. Uh, she's got the best pies on the island, uh, spinach pies and meat pies, uh, for one euro, huge pies. And, uh, her desserts are lovely. The rice pudding there, you can kind of see it in the window. Also one euro. 
Highly recommend that. This is the same street. Uh, got some cute little restaurants here. People enjoying themselves. Lots of restaurants up and down this street here. Quite fun. See a little supermarket. There are lots of little supermarkets to get water. Uh, this is one more street down and right before the beach. And this is kind of the bar street. You see the African prints. These guys are just cleaning up a bit. So we can see that uh, up and down the street, you'll see bars on the left and on the right. It's one block off of the ocean. This is the same street. You can smoke the Nargile. Uh, big water pipes there. Have some tobacco. The Big Brother Bar. So just a few of the bars here on the bar street. Got Peter's Pub. <coughs> Quite a long street, probably uh, 15 bars. There's the Bronx Bar. And we see more of a traditional, the Red Lion here. Looks like a nice little tavern. Haven't been in there yet, but looks nice. So right when you get to the end of that uh, bar street, you're back at the ocean here. So you can see a beautiful view of the ocean. The sun sets on this side of the island, so from the tip it would be the left side of the island where you'll catch the sunsets. See the nice big uh, hills there. <coughs> you can get to the uh, airport <coughs> this way. The bus would go around that little nook there and out to the airport, about 15 minutes. You can often see guys fishing off the pier here. We always love kind of the emerald blue water uh, of this Aegean here, South Aegean. Again, we have our little boardwalk and lovely beachfront uh, restaurants. Anything on this side here, this particular side, will give you great views of the sunset. One of our favorite places on this side is the Malt House <coughs> Cafe and Pub. Totally cute. Um, we're going to go inside and have a look around. They like to play backgammon in there and uh, great music all the time. This is kind of inside, very homey. <coughs> all nice natural wood, friendly waitress there. Hello. <laughs> She's waving to us. <coughs> Got some funny beer logos on the wall here you may put a shot of those in later on in the video <coughs> normally this place would be packed it's a little bit early right now sunset's probably in another hour so probably within another half hour people would be pouring in get the window open there beautiful ocean air just pouring in on us very reasonable prices here too you can see a big open window there uh, we have a uh, Four euro beer here, two fifty for a, a Coca Zero. Uh, they've got uh, burgers and salads. Uh, the chicken wings are pretty good here for five bucks. Five, well, five euros, sorry. And uh, the beer platter is quite nice. <coughs> a couple of each of different fried foods. Uh, chicken Caesar burgers good. Caesar salads good here. The regular burgers are good. So we really highly recommend this place. They always have some cool music going on. Uh, so if you're kind of getting sick of the Greek music and you want to uh, <coughs> hear some little more English style music, that's the place to come, American music. So we're just leaving now, leaving the uh, malt house. And we decided not to wait for the sunset this evening. Still maybe an hour away here. But again, nice beautiful view. So we decide that we are going to walk on back towards uh, kind of the center area just before the fortification. Uh, you can see a bus down there at the end of the street. That's kind of the central bus stop that'll take you anywhere on the island <coughs> right next to that Lacoste store. <coughs> so if you ever kind of get lost in this neighborhood, you look for Lacoste or ask someone and you know that will be very close to the bus station. You have some kind of higher end stores in this area. Uh, you can see Stradivarius there and Lacoste. And this is where you'll find your uh, Vodafone and the Greek internet company Cosmote. They'll have their offices here. Nice little shopping, couple chic bars to check out, kind of higher end bars. 
So we just passed the bus station and we're inside of a little courtyard. Uh, I pointed this out in the first video um, <coughs> where the beachfront restaurants were when we first hit the beach. Uh, I said inside there was a courtyard, so we're here. And this is Aphrodite Bar. We're gonna check it out. We have a favorite place. We told you about the brothers, but they're not open yet. So we decided on this one. Let's have a look at the menu. Lots of nice grilled meat items. Uh, nice little appetizers, mezes. <coughs> what I'm excited about is over here though. Uh, you can see on the rotisserie. We'll call this uh, lamb on the spinner. Because we're spinning it around there. Rotisserie lamb and rotisserie chicken. And this is what I'm ordering tonight, the lamb. I love it. <coughs> it's very, very delicious. Got the chicken there at the bottom. You can see the owner coming up here. Uh, there he is. He's saying hello to us and uh, I was telling him, asking him about how great his restaurant was and he said certainly. This is our greatest uh, waiter out front. This is the man who meets and greets, gets the people in, sitting down at the table. You see a lot of those guys. Okay, so that's the end of our tour. Uh, you see a map here. We started over to the right and walked down along the beach and finished back at that red mark. Uh, stay tuned, though. We've got a lot of more fun adventures coming up, and thanks for watching.